My name is Leonard Mueller. I'm going to be playing James, an Oompa Loompa, and a squirrel in the show. My name is Maria Paloma. I am a squirrel, a candy man, can, and an Oompa Loompa. Hi, my name is Maya Brent Nurse, and we're at the Golden Bow Playhouse where we are doing rehearsal for Willy Wonka Jr. This play is about five kids who get to go to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory to try and um, earn a lifetime supply of chocolate. Willy Wonka is retiring and he is seeking to find an heir to take over his factory. He has this secret contest going on and he puts these golden tickets in about five ordinary candy bars and five lucky people get to come to his factory. A young little boy, um, family has nothing, um, hopes to win a tour of this chocolate factory and indeed does get that golden ticket. Um, some of the kids are sort of rude. Um, Veruca Salt is pretty bratty. Augustus Gloop, he is a very greedy boy who constantly eats literally everything he sees. Violet was just greedy and thought she could do whatever she wanted. That gum is so much. And Mike TV, who's addicted to technology. Willy Wonka, he has many personalities. At times he can be really psychotic, other times he can be like a bundle of joy. He's very mysterious. He creeps a lot of us kids out. He's always trying to test the kids with his different rooms and his different tricks up his sleeve. He's fun, he's wacky, he can also be a little bit scary. Sharp, vicious fans in you! <laughs> Augustus! He is very dark, but I don't think he it is actually comes from a dark place. Well, the music is definitely iconic. So people go out whistling these songs. And then, of course, we have the Oompa Loompa song. So I have approximately over 50 kids in this show, Willy Wonka, and I've chosen to divide them in half. So I have two casts. They range in ages from my youngest to five to my oldest who's 14. You know it's always fun working with kids, but to tell you the truth, the older I get, the more that energy is like, oh my god, how do I control all this energy? And uh, I'm learning it's not about controlling it at all, it's about sort of guiding, directing a little bit. Rather than try to get everyone quiet, if you say, okay, we're starting at measure 33, one, two, three, four, you start to play, they'll just start to sing. It's so much easier than like saying, everybody be quiet, we're going to start here. You just count them in and you start to play. And as a mother, as you know, this is a very responsible job for her. And we um, just show by example that she should be on time because actresses should be, or actors should be there 15 minutes early or they're late. The best part of the show honestly has to be just working with so many great people, honestly. Being on stage. I like this whole atmosphere. I like the theater. Whenever I'm teetering on the brink, I think positive. I think what you really learn from this show is that no matter what, no matter even if things look aren't that good, as long as you stay positive and follow your passion and your dreams, one day you'll make it there. Each kid you get to learn a new lesson about, like not to be greedy. People can learn to always be honest and tell the truth, because if you don't, bad things could happen. And if bad things happen, that's just not good. Your life can go down the drain. I think everyone should come and see Willy Wonka's show because all the children have worked so hard. There's a beautiful message. And it's just amazing with all the mechanics and the set and all the lighting, the music, the director. It has a lot of candy and family and there's a lot of meanings to it. You can't go wrong by, by doing a play all about chocolate and candy. Yeah.